Emmanuel Macron's presidency endured its first major hit with the Benalla scandal. In July 2018, a video showing the president's bodyguard, Alexandre Benalla, attacking two protesters during May Day riots went viral. The problem wasn't just that the Elysee Palace was aware of the AIDS violent acts, but also that it remained silent on the case until the press unveiled it, taking more than six weeks to fire him. By the end of July, Emmanuel Macron finally decided to speak out. I'm the only one responsible in this scandal. The affair was considered over by the end of summer, after the Senate auditioned the 26-year-old bodyguard and after opposition lawmakers put forward two votes of no confidence. Weeks later, however, Macron was once again pushed down in the polls after two top ministers resigned. First came the surprise exit of his former environment minister, Nicolas Hulot. The popular political figure cited his disapproval of government policies and efforts to tackle climate change. I'm going to take the most difficult decision of my life. I can no longer lie. Then came one of his most eager backers, former French interior minister Gérard Collomb, who officially resigned so he could run for mayor in his hometown of Lyon. Another major blow for the French president, Collomb was the fifth minister to quit since the beginning of Macron's presidency. The unrest witnessed in the Yellow Vest movement has built up over time. It all started as a protest against rising gas prices, but quickly evolved into broader demonstrations against the government, exposing tensions between the metropolitan elite and the struggling rural working class.